Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy. Welcome to Droid Nuts TV. This is our first episode. So we're going to be covering everything that's going on in Android. Pretty much the top stories throughout the week. First off, Google's holding an Android event this Wednesday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. In this, they're going to be covering an in-depth review of Honeycomb, some more Android news in the ecosystem, as well as some hands-on demos of other stuff that's going on as well. This event is going to be great, and I'm for those of us who aren't able to attend, guess what? You still have the option to go and stream it and watch the live streaming from YouTube at youtube.com slash Android. So if you don't have any plans at 10 a.m. and you're really into this stuff, check it out because it's bound to be some good information. If not, we'll make sure to get it for you. Next up is the HTC Thunderbolt. We're finding out and we're hearing that the phone should be available either the 14th or 24th of February. These are unofficial this is just stuff that we're hearing is starting to be rumored out on the the rumor mill but as far as pricing is concerned we could be looking at 249 on a two-year contract 349 on a one-year and 599 for retail that's kind of a lot of money if you ask me because you're only looking at a single a single core processor but this is Verizon's first 4G LTE phone and so we're expecting good things I, I saw it at a CES and the phone is good it's very snappy very uh very cool as far as the new sense is concerned but with the money I don't know it, it seems quite like a pretty steep price point for the phone that is after the one you dream over or something whatever HTC said in their little slogan but definitely uh, if you're an HTC fan you probably won't be disappointed and on speaking of Verizon they're going to be dropping in their mail-in rebates so from now on, when you go into a store and you want to get a smartphone that costs over $150, you can rest assured knowing that you're going to get the final price right there. There's no mail-in rebate there. Someone you got to send to somebody else so you can get a check in the mail later on. The price right there will reflect the actual price point. This is huge. I, I, I love this. I can't stand mail-in rebates. I hate everything about them, really, because I've had, yeah, you may get money back six weeks, eight weeks, whatever later, but... Doesn't do you any good when you're buying the phone. You should just give us a savings right there. Verizon heard us. They listened. Here you go. Thank you guys. Major major kudos for that. Samsung. The new Samsung 4G phone for T-Mobile has got its own splash page on its T-Mobile website now. If you head over to the T-Mobile the website, you'll be able to check out some brief information as far as it having 2.2 and a Super AMOLED screen. It's got a picture of a phone. It's all faceless and doesn't give you very much information. But all of that information is bound to come out here in a couple of weeks at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. So until then, you can just sign up at the webpage, and as soon as Samsung does their official announcements, you will get updates from T-Mobile when it releases all kinds of cool stuff about it, I'm sure. So if you're on T-Mobile and you're interested in this phone, go over there and check it out. Sign up. It'll be worth it. And speaking of Mobile World Congress, Samsung has scheduled previews of the Galaxy S2 and the G Tab 2. We can finally get some confirmation, hopefully, whether Samsung decided to put in the Tegra 2 chips or if they're going to go with their own Orion processors. In either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing what these phones are capable of because, as of right now, I'm a little disenchanted with Samsung, so if they really want to get my money back, I'm expecting some pretty big things coming from them on this show. But you know, it, they haven't really, they haven't really let let me down before aside from this update issue because aside from that the Fascinate really is a great phone and I honestly uh, if it had 2.2 it would only be that much better so hopefully they'll address address update issues as well and we can find out what's going to happen from there we're counting on you Sammy don't let us down next up quad core processors we are looking to get these out in the fourth quarter of this year. Man, this is big news because right now Tegra 2 is hot. Everybody, or There's only a couple phones out there. We're looking at the Optimus 2X and the Bionic and the Atrix that are really rocking them that we'll see right now. And the phone, I mean, these phones are going to be changing the game completely. Yes, the OS isn't really, effect, isn't really helping it out right now, but that's bound to change. And there's, supposedly the carriers are optimizing the, the actual OS to help for the dual core. So with that being said... By the end of the year, we could be seeing quad core. We're looking at three times the speed of the dual cores now, I guess, or three times the speed now. 
it's really unclear. They just kind of specify that. But either way, it's going to be fast. And if it changes the game anywhere near like this dual core is, we are going to be seeing some amazing things coming from phones. It's going to be incredible. I'm really excited. We're looking at Tegra 3 Quad Cortex A9s, uh, up to 1.5 gigs per core. So if you do the math on each core, I mean, you're looking, you're looking at some serious power. It's going to be awesome. The tablets are supposedly going to be capable of Blu-ray video with 1920 by 1200 resolutions. And the phones will be looking at 1366 by 768. These are some, I mean, phones, we're looking at mobile computing now. These, the tablet, the bulky tablet or uh, laptops and computers, you know, um, depending on what they're, everything keeps going, the days could be numbered. We're always going to have needs for that stuff, but let's face it, these things are going to replace just daily living. We're going to be doing everything with these things. I'm excited. I can't wait for the Zoom and the Toshiba, honestly. But uh, on top of that, Tegra 2 3D production this spring. So in the second quarter-ish, we're looking at seeing some production of the Tegra 2 3D stuff. Me personally, I, I don't really care about the 3D stuff, only because uh, if you're worried about glasses or not, I wouldn't, only because with Nintendo releasing the 3DS in glasses-free 3D, personally I saw what the glasses-free stuff does on some of the TVs over at CES this past January, and it was great, except for the fact that it was like looking into a 3D picture. So, you have to really, I mean, your eyes start crossing, you're going to end up with headaches later. I, I don't need that kind of stuff when I'm looking at a phone call, or if I'm playing a game on a phone. I, I'm sure there's going to be some really cool stuff out of it, but for me personally, I think it's going to be more of a headache to me, but we'll see. But with that, there's going to be dual core uh, processors up to 1.2 gig. So, that'll be pretty cool. We at least get some faster phones, even for the lower end phones. I'm sure that could be the baseline for this kind of stuff. And then, of course, the 3D displays. So, yeah, there's going to be some pretty cool things coming out. But uh, for 3D, I think it'll be all right. The Moto Atrix, that is going to be launching, by, according to the Motorola at their earnings call this past week, it's going to be launching in late February and could cost, this is just a rumor, but if this is true, it's amazing, $150. And that's that's not by Motorola. That is not confirmed by Motorola. That is strictly off of... Uh, what some of these sites are like uh, Joy Life and stuff are coming by, coming off of from the uh, Costco and uh, even some, maybe even some Best Buy stuff. But it's all rumors as of right now. But man, just think of the possibilities that are capable if 150 bucks is what you get your Motorola Atrix for. As I said earlier, the HTC Thunderbolt was going to be selling for 250 on a two-year contract. This phone is twice the phone that the Thunderbolt could ever be. So the fact that it's a hundred dollars less isn't isn't gonna help HTC whatsoever. Had HTC launched this phone when the 4G LTE network was launched, they may have had a chance. But with this kind of stuff going on, yes this is on AT and T, not on on or not on Verizon. Still, I mean that I don't I don't see the comparison. There isn't. Because with a gig of RAM on the Atrix and the Oh, the dual core processor. I mean, this thing, it's unreal what this thing is capable of. Check out our video. You can see more, more about it. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty insane. And as far as uh, power issues on the phone, Motorola's confirmed that those won't be an issue. They're, uh, they've already addressed any kind of potential problems they're going to have. For a flagship phone like this, you can only, there was no reason to even expect a major uh, serious flaw that could plague the phone forever. I mean, Motorola's got to have this phone. They could ride this phone for quite a while, so they couldn't have that kind of bad publicity going on. So I'm glad that's taken care of. On top of that, they will, they will be releasing an update for it that will allow uh, the Atrix to film at 1080p instead of just the 720 that it, it's coming out with. Given the fact that it's all going to be in, uh, it's all going to be in the, the with the Tegra 2 processors, it didn't really make any sense. Motorola hurt us. They knew they could do it. Now they're going to make it happen. Thank you. That's a good move because that's only going to add to the bottom line as far as you guys are concerned. And finally, the Motorola Zoom, the tablet that everybody's dreaming about most likely, uh, or all, at least most of us Android guys are, is going to be launching in late February, possibly early March. And that was told to us by uh, 
Motorola at their last earnings call. As of right now, I'm still seeing price points at around seven ninety nine. Uh, it's I'm not too sure whether that's going to be on contract or not. I, I don't see how they'll be able to subsidize it based on uh, the fact that it's three G up front, four G later. The the details on that are a little still out to still being figured out. So more to come. But that's everything we got for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Email us. Let us know. I mean, just tell us what you think. But we look forward to hearing from you guys. Hit the subscribe button. We'll be getting to you guys again soon. All right, guys. Later.